This shoe is like such a throwback to 2015. It's crazy. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Adidas Ultra Boost DNA Parley. But before we actually jump into the video, I wanted to let you know that the We Are Under Construction, which is the We Are Underdog Seth Fowler Origin sneaker designed by Jason Negrito Diaz, is available for pre-order. I just dropped a video on this sneaker yesterday, so if you would like to check that out, there'll be a link at the top of the screen. And of course, the link to pre-order this pair of sneakers is in the top of the description. But back to the sneaker that we're actually reviewing in today's video, the Adidas Ultra Boost Parley DNA. This shoe comes in two different colorways, this black colorway and a white colorway, and officially releases on June 29th for a retail price of 220 bucks. Now for some reason, Adidas decided to release this shoe early on eBay through their Adidas eBay account, and that's where I grabbed my pair. And yes, it was an official Adidas eBay account, but for some reason they decided to drop them there early. Maybe they had a contract with eBay or something like that. But the official release date of this shoe on adidas.com is June 29th. But right off the bat, the thing that first caught my attention with this new 2020 Ultra Boost DNA Parley was how much this shoe looked like the 2015 sample. Okay, maybe not this black pair, but the white pair. It's so similar, it's crazy. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised it took five years for us to be able to get a pair similar to that pair in our hands. I was personally pretty torn between the two colorways. The white colorway was awesome because it reminded me so much of that sample, but the black colorway just looked so dope. So I caved and went with the black colorway because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier to rock. But I really do think both colorways are great and if the white colorway ever goes on sale, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Also actually, another shoe that's on my radar is the 4D version of this. It's basically the same upper of this shoe except on a black 4D soul and I feel like that looks so fire. But getting into the sneaker itself, this shoe is actually a collaboration between Adidas and Parley. Parley for the Oceans is a group that collects ocean plastics and pollution and takes those items and tries to make something good out of them. And so the way that Adidas works with Parley is that they take these plastics and spin them into a knit that they can use on the upper of their shoes. And I've said this every time I review a Parley Adidas sneaker, but I love what these two companies are doing. I think it's really cool that they're trying to clean up the oceans and use that plastic that they take to create something awesome. You really gotta applaud Adidas and Parley for that. I think what they're doing is really cool. But getting into the actual materials of the sneaker itself, as you can see, the upper of this shoe is covered in these thin green lines. Now if you look closely at these thin green lines, you'll see that that's actually a stitching detail, and it's a stitching detail that's been used on every pair of Adidas Parley sneakers to date, or at least the ones that I can remember. Aesthetically, what I love about this detail is how it sort of mimics the waves in the ocean. And from what I can tell, I think this is the main area where this recycled plastic is used. Now to be quite honest, I'm not 100% sure where else this shoe uses that ocean plastic. The black knit that covers up a majority of the rest of the upper, I think, is just standard knit. I think it's like a standard yarn knit. I'm not sure if it uses any of the plastic that's reclaimed from the ocean. Now the reason I say that is because it really doesn't feel any different than a standard Adidas knit. So I think this black knit that's under these green lines is either one of two things. The first is that it is just a standard knit and the only real recycled materials used on this shoe are these green lines, which to be fair is still a good amount of recycled materials. Or they did actually find a way to make this knit out of recycled plastics and they also found a way to make it feel just like a standard knit. And to be honest with you, what I think personally is that the recycled material really is only in this green area or they only used a tiny bit in the knit material. But at the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really matter because they are still using some recycled materials on this shoe, which is more than most brands can say. Regardless of the material makeup, I think this shoe looks incredible. Continuing back on the shoe, hidden under these green lines, you've got the Adidas three stripes embroidered into the midfoot. It's a subtle touch, but I really like it a lot, and it's one of those things where you have to see it in the right light to really see the three stripes, but when you see them, it really adds a lot to the shoe. Then moving up on the shoe, you've got this very interesting lacing system. So if you look at the front of this sneaker, you might think that this shoe has a separate tongue, but it's interesting because it doesn't. There's actually a black knit panel that wraps all the way around the upper of the shoe, and that's actually where these green lines are stitched into. And this panel actually holds these very small black lace loops. The panel is stitched to the rest of the upper, so even though it looks like a separate piece, it's all one booty construction, pretty much like every other pair of Ultra Boosts. Then these flat black laces weave through these little lace loops, which are sandwiched between the outer panel and the rest of the sneaker. This detail really gives the shoe a unique look, but it still feels like an Ultra Boost on foot, which I actually really like. The 
tongue portion of the shoe does not have the green lines on it and instead comes in the plain black knit. And then embroidered into the top of the tongue, you've got the Adidas sportswear logo. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got this super plush black padded sock liner, which feels incredible against your foot. And rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black insole with the Boost branding on the left side of the pair and the Adidas and Parley branding on the right side of the pair. As far as sizing and fit is concerned, I would say that this shoe does fit pretty much like your standard pair of Ultra Boosts. The only difference is that it might be a little bit more snug than you're used to. And the reason for that, I believe, is actually the green stitching. The green stitching almost acts as a cage all the way around the upper of the shoe and prevents the knit from stretching as much as you're probably used to. It's not a bad thing and it's definitely not uncomfortable. In fact, this is still one of the most comfortable shoes in my collection but it is something to keep in mind if you're used to wearing Ultra Boosts. So I would still suggest going true to size or whatever your standard Ultra Boost size is. However, if you're worried that this shoe might be a little bit too tight, I don't think it hurts to go up half a size. But as I always suggest, if you have the chance to try this shoe on first before you buy it, make sure to do that to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Continuing back in the shoe, you get to more of this green stitching around the heel, and it also seems like the heel counter of the shoe is absorbed into the upper of the sneaker, or at least this outer panel of the shoe. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got your standard standard Adidas Ultra Boost pole portion, I guess, that also comes in black knit. And then continuing down on the shoe, you get to your insanely comfortable full length Boost midsole. Seriously, the Ultra Boost is still one of the most comfortable shoes on the market, and if you haven't tried a pair yet, you're missing out. And finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got a black continental rubber outsole. The Adidas Ultra Boost DNA Parley is one of the best looking Ultra Boosts to drop this year. And yes, I know I said the triple white colorway was the best colorway to drop this year, and to be fair, I still think that's the case, but this is a close second. But I would love to know your thoughts on this Parley collaboration and whether you plan to pick it up, even if it's just because you missed out on that sample from 2015, which most of us did. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.